1965, we were worried that race, language, or religion would be our greatest fault lines. In 2018, it's class. How extensive is this class divide? I want more data on this issue. So I worked with Channel News Asia to commission one of the largest surveys on this divisive topic. We have here a whole lot of data representing two months of field work, and some of the results are quite unsettling. No, so everybody would like to come to me mainly for. So there, there's a divergence. Uh, there, there is a divergence. Well, what we're seeing here is that if you compare between uh, race, religion, sexual orientation, nationality, and class, class matters. Almost half of the respondents feel that income inequality is most likely to cause a social divide in Singapore. And it's a huge gap between this and the rest of the options. In the CNA survey, we ask what people really think of others from different social classes of society. They were given over 20 characteristics to choose from. Simply in terms of perception Singaporeans have of the upper class, the top three are able to speak good English, almost everyone checked that box, tend to plan ahead, and domineering. As for the perceptions of the lower class, most people thought they were friendly, caring, but tend to speak Singlish. But what was more interesting were the differences between how people saw the upper classes versus the lower classes. Arrogant, that was the biggest gap. People also thought that someone from the upper classes was more likely to plan ahead and be luckier than someone from the lower class. I've always believed in this country, it's your ability, not your connections, that's important. But clearly, not everyone feels the same way. When asked what it would take to get rich, people from the lower class suggested that knowing the right people was the third most important reason. Above this was education, and most importantly, hard work. In contrast, when people from the upper class were asked how to get rich, they suggested that hard work was the third most important reason. Above this was ability, and the most important reason of all was knowing the right people. Education didn't factor into their top three reasons at all. When it comes to social mobility, only half of people from the lower class are confident that their next generation's financial situation will improve. It's only human to seek out people who are like us to find our tribe, but I worry that our survey reveals divisions in our society. People from the higher classes are much more likely to participate in society, for example, by volunteering in labor unions, in sports clubs, in professional associations, in non-governmental organizations, or engaging in arts and cultural activities, as compared to people from the lower classes. And it probably explains the next set of results. 70% of the higher classes feel a strong sense of belonging, as compared to 46% of the lower classes. And 76% of the higher classes feel proud to be Singaporean, as compared to 50% of the lower classes. And this is the gap that really matters to me, that the rich feel connected to Singapore and the poor do not.